So this month we celebrated the World Day to Combat Desertification on the 17th of June. Any one of you knows other international day that we celebrate every year? World Day, International Day? No? Okay. Oh, yeah. You? National what? I don't hear you. So. Oh, yeah, exactly. Women's Right Day on the 8th of March. We also celebrate the International Day of Education, for example, that also deals with you guys. So all these World Days are celebrated to raise awareness about a serious topic. And that's why we celebrate the World Day to Combat Desertification. I would like to show you a um, very short video about our um, General Secretary of the United um, Nations. I will show you the small short video of Antonio Guterres, our General Secretary. Desertification, land degradation and drought are major threats affecting millions of people worldwide, particularly women and children. 25 years ago, 197 parties adopted the landmark convention aiming at mobilizing global action. Yet, much remains to be done. Every year, the world loses 24 billion tons of fertile soil. And dry land degradation reduces national domestic product in developing countries by up to 8% annually. We must urgently change such trends. Protecting and restoring land and better using it can reduce forced migration, improve food security and spur economic growth. It can also help us to address the global climate emergency. On this World Day, let us recognize the imperative of combating desertification as part of our efforts to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you. Jorge. So, what I want to highlight with this uh, short video is that desertification deals with also you guys. Why? Because everybody is concerned by land degradation. Every territory is concerned by de land degradation. And also because you, we all can be agents of change. Which is it? Here, it's perfect. Okay. Um. So in which region do you think there is dry lands? Which region, which territories of the world? Dry lands. Africa. Africa, okay. Any other place in the world? Middle East, okay. Yeah? No? Okay, so dry lands, you were right. In Africa, there is a lot of dry lands, but you can see that also in United States, for example, in Australia too, in Spain, there is a lot of uh, drought. So it concerns every territory. And if you go in land degradation, every territory is, is, degra is degraded. Then there is um, indifferent levels of degradation, but all our territories is degraded. That's why we celebrate the World Day to combat desertification, to raise awareness about this topic. Uh, actually, the international community adopted the Convention to Combat Desertification in 1994. So this month we celebrated the 25 years of the, um, of the convention. So what has been done during the past 25 years? The UNCCD has contributed to land sustainable management and it worked. There is some clear evidences that um, the UNCCD contrib contributed to restore land, um, landscapes. For example, 5 million hectares of degraded land in Sahel have been restored um, through some practices of uh, sustainable land management. But still, um, there is a lot of countries, almost every other countries of the world are still affected by land degradation. So there is still a lot uh, to be done. So we have to plan the next 25 years. The goal of the UNCCD right now is to achieve land degradation neutrality. Why? Because through 
land degradation neutrality, there will be more land available and we could, we could use this land through a sustainable way. There were some, um, we can raise some messages um, during this World Day to combat desertification. The message that has been raised by the UNCTD is that uh, first, the convention needs more recognition as an international level because it is the um, only convention that has the authority to um, achieve land degradation neutrality. Also, all the member states of the conventions um, renew their commitment to the convention. And then um, we have to also say that land degradation is not just the business of the United Nations, it's the business of everyone, because together we can restore the productivity of billions of um, degraded land and we could um, improve the livelihoods of billions of uh, people all around the world. I would like to show you now some events that have been done to celebrate the um, World Day to Combat Desertification. I think, oh, great. So the UNCCD developed a world map that I can see. Okay. Mm. Okay, normally I can see a world map here, an interactive map, but it looks like it's not available. I don't know what's happening with the website, but still um, we can see that, for example, in Africa, if we choose uh, Cameroon, an organization um, celebrated the World Day to combat desertification by organizing outreaches in the university and they spoke about the um, topic of land degradation in Africa and particularly with a focus in, on Cameroon. Um, I will try to find another example. India, there has been some events too, Nepal, Korea. Yeah, in Saudi Arabia, um, staff members of an hospital decided to plant 300 flowers in front of the hospital and taking care of the plants the whole year. So it's also um, an event that has been created to celebrate, to commemorate the World Day to combat desertification. Now I will go back to my presentation. Also during this World Day, the um, big event that has been organized to commemorate it was in Ankara. The UN city was in Ankara and they, commemorate, uh, they commemorated there the, um, the World Day. So, sorry. So first, um, Erdogan, the president of the Republic of, of Turkey, was there in Ankara and he highlighted that everyone must do their best to preserve natural assets and heritage and pass them to the next the generation. We also had a message from Dr. Ahmed Ipek, who called desertification and land degradation a silent catastrophe. Why a silent catastrophe? Because land degradation can lead to food shortage, it can lead to hunger, it can lead to migrations, unemployment, poverty, conflicts and instability. So um, when we say that we have to combat desertification, it's because it's to improve our livelihoods. Another, um, we also had a message from the Executive Secretary of the UNCCD, Mr. Ibrahim Cho, who said that um, land is the responsibility of anyone who wants to ensure equal rights to eat, to drink, to breathe, to make a safe home in the town in the country, to access jobs, education, technology, medicine, and invest investment opportunities. Dr. Becky Pagdemirli also said that desertification does not recognize borders 
and that's why it's everyone's business. So during this um, event in Ankara, they raised some conclusions. What are these conclusions? First, there is a need to move from land administration to land governance. Then there is a need to innovate uh, and to find new technologies for sustainable land management. They also say that capacity building and development is a key to, re to restore um, degraded lands. They also linked land degradation to um, consumer choices because our choices have an impact in um, the land that we are degrading. So if we make better choices, we will be more sustainable. Also, they say that uh, land degradation neutrality and sustainable land management have to be linked to university programs to um, have a new, a new bench of researchers that are more aware of um, sustainable land management practices. They finally raised that um, they really need a cooperation between all the Rio Conventions, Jorge said, told about the Rio Convention, they are the biodiversity, the climate change, and the, desertif the desertification. So we really need a collaboration between all these conventions. And finally, we need to educate uh, the vulnerable groups, but finally, everybody needs to be educated to sustainable um, development. And that's why we are here today. You saw that authorities all around the world raised awareness about this topic. You saw that there has been um, a lot of events all around the world to celebrate um, the World Day to combat desertification because land degradation deals with everybody. And you, we all need to be involved in um, sustainable development if you want to save our planet because saving our planet is saving our lives. Thank you. I finished my presentation.